everybody. Um, I want to talk about um, Murder on the Blue Train by Agatha Christie. This is another of the stories of Hercule Poirot. And um, this one was kind of cool. It was, um, it opens up with this really weird meeting between this guy who is like, he's basically like a jewel fence. Like, people bring famous jewels to him and um, he can sell them kind of thing. And um, there are these people who have this jewel and this American person buys the jewel and then he is followed by a couple of dudes and he shoots them and gets away. And then the really cool dude I was talking about a second ago is like, yeah, you win some, you lose some, you know, but no big deal. Um, it's not that bad, whatever. And then a masked man comes to see him. And no one has ever seen this person's face. And this person is like the best jewel thief there is. And the, um, the fence guy's daughter is like trying to see who he is through the keyhole and can't make it out. And, um, that's like kind of the backstory um, of one part of this. <clears throat> the American guy um, is in England, gives his daughter this jewel, and she's in the midst of a uh, nasty, or what could end up being a nasty divorce. And then there's this other woman who has gray eyes. And you know what they say about women with gray eyes. And um, all these people are, they bought tickets on the blue train, which is the fancy pants train, to go to the French Riviera. And... Um, Poirot is also on this train. And somebody dies. And then they spend the rest of the book trying to figure out who did it. And if me explaining the beginning of this book wasn't riveting enough, um, I don't know what to tell you. When I started this... I was very much in the camp of this is kind of boring. Like, I wasn't digging on it a whole lot until the murder happened. And then everything was, like, kicked into high gear, and it was a lot of fun. Um, the characters in this story were well done so again one of those things I have with Christy books is sometimes her characters are so like one class and all of them are the same it's almost like you have five or six exact replica characters 
Um, but this, this was not like that. Some of the characters were not as interesting as other characters, but all the characters were unique. So it was, um, it was good fun. Um, so with this whole March Mystery Madness thing, I have read, I wasn't planning on reading any Agatha Christie. Um, and then I, I'm like, oh, I could read this one. And then because I did that, I've just been going down a rabbit hole of Agatha Christie books. And, um, I think this is all, like, I don't have any others on the back burner that I've read that I haven't talked to you about yet. Um, but I would say Murder on the Blue Train is a go. Um, it's not, it's like in the lower tier of high tier Agatha Christie books that I've read. Um if that makes any sense. Um, makes a lot of sense to me, but um, that's just me. So anyway, um, Murder on the Blue... Ugh. Murder on the Blue Train. Give it a read. It was good. Um, and I know there are a couple um, that have been recommended to me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get to them before the end of the month. I still have two books to read for my prompts. Um, oh, and um, Murder on the Blue Train I read because for color. So it actually worked out okay. Um, but the other books I have left are The Girl from Outer Space by Carter Brown and um, Strip for Violence by Ed Lacey. Is that what it's called? Strip for Violence? I can't remember. That sounds silly. But I think that's what it's called. So anyway, um, those are those. But the um, the Agatha Christie recommendations, um, I, uh, I'll probably get to them. So um, there might be one or two more Agatha Christie videos this month. So I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.